Yeah. Never change. Hi. Yay. Hey, we're, we're taking we the photos. Yeah. <laughs> we're back in the cliff. Sunset graduate. Oh, I got a place for you. You ready for it? You have to really take it though. Okay. Ah, uh, that's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Daryl Gibson with Centennial along with us. And uh, Daryl, talk about a couple of the wines that we're going to have tonight at Smoke. <laughs> well, tonight we're going to, one of the items I'm really excited about is the uh, is Cowboy Smile which actually is a fair trade certified wine. Um, the reason that's so exciting, not only because it's a good wine, but um, whenever you buy a wine or buy this wine or drink this wine, um, you're benefiting the communities that it's grown in, specifically this one that's in Argentina. Not only help benefiting the communities, but it's also an environmental responsible issue as well. So it's one that I'm personally really excited about, not only because of the quality of the wine, but um, it's socially and environmentally uh, responsible, which is important to Centennial as well. And then a few of the other ones, Angel's Landing Cab, uh, which is Napa Valley Cab, rich, dark, succulent, Delicious, one of my favorites. And then for the French one, we had the La Crusade Pinot Noir. Uh, specifically, comes from Vindepe or Vindepe, <laughs> uh, which is southern uh, France. Um, very light, aromatic, lots of floral notes, raspberry, uh, bright cherry. Just very enjoyable. Oh, and I forgot about the Prosecco. Um, we have the Italian Prosecco tonight, um, which is. Uh, Produced from the grape bridal Paul Prosecco, um, ancient grape bridal light, uh, very refreshing, enjoyable, inexpensive, um, but good, uh, bubbly wine. Mm, very nice. Thank you for bringing those wines. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see how they go with this uh, dinner. Oh, they should go we're looking, really well. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. It's Christopher Jeffers. I'm one of the uh, owners of a Smoke Restaurant located in the Belmont Hotel. Um, me and my chef partner, Tim Byers, uh, are the owner proprietors of the establishment. Um, tonight for the wine dinner, uh, we're doing a lot of cooking. Uh, we call it cooking, from, raising hell from scratch. Is actually yeah. Uh, it's, uh, we use smoke as an element of cooking, so it's not necessarily just barbecue. Okay. It's a lot. Of, it's all things that we can smoke. Um, we have things off the grill. We smoke with wood. We smoke with. We smoke in the smoker with. The, Three different kinds of smoke, or three different kinds of wood. Uh, it's all it's, it's all very interesting. My clothes, I go home smelling like smoke every night, so it's quite an adventure <laughs> for my family. Um, tonight, what we're going to be working on for the wine dinner is it's a small array of, uh, I guess, southern cooking done with a little bit of a twist or modern cuisine kind of flair to it. Um, we're doing like a really nice pimento croquettes for the table as a starter. We're doing a really good night beet carpaccio salad crudite that Tim prepares. Uh, and it's actually on our regular menu too. It's one of our highest selling salads. We're doing a really good cabrito, which is kind of a southern slash Mexican twist on doing things because Texas is like rock and roll. It's a mix of everything put into one. Um, we're doing a combination of barbecue that we're going to be doing. We have, a, we have some pork ribs. We have some andouille sausage that we do here at house. And we're doing some brisket. And then for dessert, we have a really nice blueberry buckle. It's not unlike uh, your grandmother's cobbler, but probably not nearly as good. Um, and that's really pretty much it for the most part. Well, Chris, you guys have been open uh, just just a few months, really, but you've taken the town by storm. Uh, what do you think about that? I think I'm, we're very fortunate people. Um, and the idea is, to, is just to keep focusing and keep trying to trying to do the next the next right thing and take care of the people that we have coming in the door. It just doesn't come from Champagne, France. Um, although if you guys look at the price list, or retail price list of these wines, they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, they offer a great value. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Good wine pairs, Daryl. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.